Hey, how you doing? It's Dan here, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make a woman feel intense attraction for you. All right, I'm talking about intense attraction where she has to have you, she wants to be with you and only you. And this way of attraction that I'm gonna teach you applies whether you're meeting a woman for the first time, you're getting to know a woman, or you're already deep into a relationship with a woman. All right, the same fundamental principles of attraction apply. And what I'm about to teach you is most likely going to blow your mind. You're never going to look at attraction the same way ever again. So make sure that you watch the entire video because I'm about to ask you some questions that you're most likely going to answer differently at the end of this video. Okay, so the three questions I want to ask you are, does a guy have to be tall, handsome or rich to make a beautiful woman feel intense attraction for him? Or do you think that it's possible for a guy who isn't rich tall or handsome to make beautiful women feel intense attraction for him. And the last question, is it possible for a man to make a woman feel more respect, love and attraction for him over time in a relationship or does the spark have to die out in a relationship? Have a think about that and now let's get into the secret to making a woman feel intense attraction for you. The secret to making a woman feel intense attraction for you is to actively turn her on by the way that you interact with her. Although a woman can feel attracted to a man's physical appearance, the most intense types of attraction that a woman can feel are based on what you say and do when interacting with her. This rule of attraction applies when you first meet a woman, are getting to know her, and when you're in a relationship with her. Generally speaking, you are in complete control of how much or little attraction you want to make a woman feel for you. You can make a woman feel attracted to you in more than 100 different ways during an interaction. The more ways that you can make a woman feel attracted to you and how you're making her feel, the more intense her attraction will be. We men are not limited to making a woman feel attracted to us because of our looks. And I'm gonna show you a lot of proof of that throughout this video. For women, it's very easy for them to initially attract men for sex because men are mostly attracted to a woman's physical appearance. And that is why porn exploded on the internet and continues to grow. And when in the past, when porn was only ever in magazines and in videotapes and things like that, it was all directed towards men because men feel an intense attraction to a woman's physical appearance. That doesn't mean that a woman can't feel attracted to a man's physical appearance, but for a woman, the most important thing to her is how you make her feel when you interact with her. Does your conversation style make her feel turned on or does it make her feel turned off? Does interacting with you make her feel excited, attracted, in love, feel lust, and feel all sorts of desirable emotions, or does it make her feel turned off? Does it make her feel awkward? Does it make her feel bored? So as a man, what you need to do to make a woman feel intense attraction for you is to actively make her feel attracted to you in many different ways while you interact with her. An example of one of those ways is to make her laugh, right? You might have heard that women love a guy who can make them laugh, right? That is one of the ways to make a woman feel attracted to who you are, attracted to being around you, attracted to being with you, right? If you look up the dictionary definition of attraction, it is a quality or feature of someone that evokes interest, liking, or desire. Right? The dictionary definition doesn't say that attraction is about physical appearance. Right? It's about qualities and features that evoke those feelings of interest, liking, and desire. Making her laugh is just one of the ways that you can make a woman feel attracted to you. At The Modern Man, I teach guys how to make women feel attracted to them in more than a hundred different ways. Right? Most guys are going through life not even knowing how much power and control they have over how much attraction women feel for them. Most guys are going through life thinking, am I good looking enough? Do I need to lose weight? Do I need to put on weight? Do I need to build more muscle? The thing is, a woman can feel attracted to a man's appearance, but if it was the most important thing to women, then the porn industry would have grown and exploded because of women. Women would have been buying magazines with naked men and then masturbating to that. But that's just not how it works, right? What's most important to a woman is how you make her feel when you interact with her. There are women out there who will only ever accept a very good looking guy who's got millions or billions of dollars, right, and has a perfect gym body. Those women do exist, that is true. But the majority of women have what I call an open type. And that means that they're open to being with all different types of guys as long as the guy can make her feel a lot of attraction when he interacts with her. 
A lot of guys end up feeling very insecure about their looks, and I used to think the same way before I actually worked out how to attract women, but a lot of guys go through life and they're hoping to get a wow reaction from women based on how they look. You know, they might get a few looks from women, women look at them and, and they look back and they're thinking, okay, that girl's looking at me, she might like me, but nothing's happening here, maybe I'm not good looking enough, right? And they, they go through life like that, not getting the wow reaction that they have in response to a woman's physical appearance. A woman can simply be walking along the street and men can be having an intense feeling of attraction for her simply based on her looks. Oh, look at her, oh, I'd love to be with her, oh, marriage material. Oh, I definitely have sex with her, oh, I definitely wanna be her boyfriend. And it's just based on her appearance, but guys walk through the world and they don't get that reaction from women and then they start thinking, well, I guess I'm not good looking enough, right? And they write it off as that, but really what you need to do is make a woman feel attracted to you when you interact with her. So instead of making the mistake of hoping that you're gonna get a wow reaction in response to your looks, what you need to do is actively make a woman feel attracted to you by the way that you interact with her. For example, your conversation style, your confidence, your humor, your masculinity, etc. When you make a woman feel attracted to you in many different ways while interacting with her, something really weird happens. She starts to look at what might have otherwise been a negative about you, for example, if you have a big nose or if you're short, if you're bald, if you're overweight, etc., in a positive light. Those things that you might have thought were unattractive actually become likable, cute, adorable, and sexy to her, even though they aren't considered to be male model features. She's feeling attracted to how you are making her feel while interacting with her, and she actually begins to like the way that you look because it is a part of you. She feels attracted to you and therefore begins to look at you in a more positive light. This is one of the reasons why you'll see guys who aren't good looking with a beautiful girlfriend or a wife. You will also hear women referring to their boyfriend or husband as sexy or handsome, even though he doesn't have a good looking face or a perfect body shape. She likes his physical appearance because it is him and he makes her feel attracted in more important, longer lasting ways than just mere looks. He might not have a good looking face or a great body shape, but she still finds him to be incredibly attractive, appealing, desirable, and lovable. Instead of looking at his imperfect physical features in a negative light, she will see them as being attractive and appealing to her because they are a part of him. She will actually really like the way that he looks. In fact, she can even love it and come to prefer his type of appearance over what she thought she used to like or want. This is weird, I know. It doesn't make much sense for guys who don't understand attraction. A lot of guys think that they have to look like a perfect male model with a perfect body and then they're gonna be able to make women feel intense attraction for them. But that is not how it works. Yes, a woman can feel attraction to a man's physical appearance, but you are not limited to making a woman feel intense attraction for you based on your appearance. The most powerful types of attraction that you can make a woman feel are based on what you say and do when you're interacting with her. When you look around, you'll see that the guys that are with beautiful women usually don't look like perfect plastic models, right? They've got weird quirks about them. They've got things about them that you might consider to be unattractive. For example, a big nose, short, overweight, etc. But the woman finds him to be attractive. She says that he's handsome. He's sexy, he's desirable, he is her man. She loves him, she loves being around him, she loves the look of him, she loves his unique features because she's feeling attracted to him in many different ways. On the flip side, if you don't make a woman feel attracted to you when you're interacting with her, then she starts to see your quirks and your features that are not traditionally physically good looking in a negative light. She wonders why she's not feeling attracted to you and she starts focusing on things that she doesn't like about you. Oh yeah, I don't like that he's bald. Oh, I don't like that he's got a big nose. However, that doesn't mean that the same woman cannot feel intense attraction for a guy who is bald or who does have a big nose. She can feel intense attraction for him if he makes her feel attracted in many other different ways. As mentioned, I teach guys how to make women feel attracted to them in more than a hundred different ways you most likely don't know how much power you have when it comes to attracting women. You can make a woman feel intense attraction when you interact with her. It doesn't have to be about your looks. 
You don't have to try to use your looks to attract women. You can use your personality, your communication style, your behavior, your body language, your attitude. There are so many different things that you can do to make women feel attracted to you. A lot of guys go through life thinking, oh, well, you know, I'm bored, or I've got a big nose, or I'm short, or I don't have the perfect body, or my face isn't good looking, so I can't be attractive to women. But what these guys fail to realize is that their surface features, being bald, having a big nose, being short, etc., can flick over to being cute, adorable, sexy, attractive, handsome, and desirable if he makes her feel attracted. The really cool thing about being a man is that you can be overweight, you can be short, you can be bald, you can have a bit of a big nose, you can have a high forehead like me, right? You can have a bent nose like me, and women can still refer to you as sexy, handsome, attractive, and say, you know, there's something about him, and be really drawn to you, feel intense attraction for you. You might have seen other guys with beautiful women and thought, what is she doing with him, right? You might have been walking along the street and seen a guy walking along with his girlfriend or his wife, and she's beautiful and he doesn't look like anything special. He might be overweight, he might be short. He might not have a perfect gym body like you're being told in the media that you need to have. Get the six pack abs and then you get the girl. You know, build up your biceps even more, then you get the girl. But then you look what's going on around you in the real world, it's, that's not even the case. Yes, there are some women who like the guys who've got the perfect body and there's nothing wrong with working out in the gym. There's nothing wrong with having muscles, but you don't actually need it to get yourself a beautiful girlfriend or a wife or to have sex with beautiful women. You don't actually need it. You can have it if you want to, but you don't actually need it. So what I'm gonna do now is show you some photos of guys who are not good looking, who are overweight, who are from a race where guys think that they can't attract women very well, but they've got a beautiful girlfriend or a wife, right? So have a look at this guy here. Does he look like a handsome man? He's got a perfect gym body, or does he actually look a little bit overweight? How about his face? Does he look handsome or does he look ugly or below average looking or average looking? What do you think? How about these two guys getting married to a beautiful woman, but they're overweight? Most guys are going to assume, okay, he must be rich. That's the only reason why she would want to be with him because of money. But that's not always the case. Most guys aren't rich. Most guys are just getting by. Most guys have just got a normal job. How about this guy here? His girlfriend is beautiful. She's in shape, but then he's overweight. What is she doing with him when she could be with a really tall man who's in perfect shape, who looks like a male model? What's going on? How about these two guys? They're bald. What's the woman doing with them? Isn't being attractive about having a full head of hair? Isn't that what they tell you on those TV commercials when they're saying you have to dye your hair and you have to have a full head of hair? What's going on? Why would a woman want to be with a guy who's bald? How about this guy? He's Asian. Hang on, an Asian guy with a white girl? That can't be possible. Yes, it is possible. It's actually very normal. Here's an overweight Asian guy with a young pretty woman. What's going on there? Here's another couple of Asian guys who are marrying a beautiful white girl. What's going on? And now here's some black guys, some dark skinned guys with some white women. What's going on? Here's a white guy with a black woman. What's going on? Here's an Asian guy with a black woman. How is that possible? What's going on? How could she feel attracted to him? How about this guy with his big ears? What's going on there? Why is she with him? How about this guy? Look at his nose. He doesn't look like a typical good looking guy. He's got that weird looking nose, but hang on, he's got a beautiful looking girl. Why isn't she with the tall, handsome guy that's got a perfect looking face? What's going on? I mean, have a look at this guy here. I mean, what's going on here? This girl, a young, pretty girl, she's with this guy. How is that possible? Is it actually possible that she's not concerned about his looks, that she feels attracted to him in other ways and she actually sees his physical appearance now as being attractive because she feels attracted to him in other ways and she sees what would have otherwise been negatives about him in a more positive light. Is it possible that when a woman feels attraction for a guy for other reasons that she's not so concerned about what she might have been going around saying, oh, I want a tall, handsome, perfect man with millions or billions of dollars. Is it possible that she can feel attracted to a guy for other reasons and then actually like his physical appearance because it is him. She is attracted to him, she's into him. I mean, what is going on here? Why are these women not with perfect male models with millions and billions of dollars? Why is it possible for these guys to have these women? What is going on? What's going on there is that it's actually possible to attract women in ways other than looks and money and social status and being tall, having a big dick, 
all these things that you hear about, right? It's actually possible to make women feel intense attraction for you for other reasons. It really is possible. Not all women will accept a guy who doesn't look like a perfect male model with a perfect body, but most women will. Most women are more flexible with what they feel attracted to and place less importance on a guy's physical appearance if he's able to make them feel enough attraction for other reasons. Before interacting with a guy, a woman will judge him on his physical appearance because she has to make an assessment based on something. However, when a guy interacts with her, his surface features, for example, a big nose, being a bit thin, being overweight, having an unappealing face, etc., can flick over to being likable if he can make her feel enough attraction for other reasons. This is why it's so important for you to be able to attract women when you interact with them. Your ability to attract women determines the quality of woman that you can have access to, and it determines a lot of the desire that she's gonna have to want to stay with you in a relationship. If you're unable to make women feel attracted to you when you meet them, you won't have your choice with women. And in a relationship, if you're unable to make a woman feel increasing amounts of attraction for you over time, the spark will die out. As for the single guys watching this video, if you are afraid of interacting with women and you hide away in the background, you're literally wasting your life. You deserve so much better than you're allowing yourself to experience with women. A lot of guys waste their life hoping that women will someday hopefully like them for looking good or achieving a certain financial status in life. There's nothing wrong with a guy working out at the gym and building muscle or putting in a lot of hard work to be successful in life. You can do those things if you want to, but you can still make a beautiful woman feel intense attraction for you even if you don't have those things. Right, there are guys out there who don't even have a job. There are guys out there who've never worked out in a gym in their entire life. There are guys out there who are skinny. There are guys out there who are overweight and they've still got a beautiful girlfriend. They still make their woman feel intense attraction. Throughout your life, your ability to attract women is going to be critical to your success at picking up women and being able to keep a relationship together. If you're currently single and you're unable to make beautiful women feel intense attraction for you, it doesn't mean that you can't develop that skill. Likewise, if you're currently in a relationship and the spark has died, it doesn't mean that you can't start behaving and talking to her in an attractive way and get that spark back. Generally speaking, the amount of attraction that a woman feels for you is completely within your control. Most of what a woman feels attracted to is how a man behaves and talks to her when he interacts with her. Once you know how to make a woman feel intense attraction for you during an interaction, you realize how much power and control you have over your success with women. You realize that you don't need to be afraid to walk over and talk to women because you can make them feel attracted. You also realize that you don't need to worry about losing your girlfriend or your wife because you can maintain her attraction and you can build on it over time. Take Ben from The Modern Man as an example, right? There's Ben, Stu, and myself, the coaches at The Modern Man. And Ben, as you can see, he doesn't look like anything special. In the past, he was a confident guy, but even though he was confident, he didn't know what to say or do around women, so he never really got anywhere. He was the single guy while all of his friends were hooking up and having girlfriends and having a great time. But what Ben did is he discovered how to attract women. And when he did that, women started flooding into his life. When I first met Ben, he used to always say to me, give me 10 minutes alone with a girl and she's mine. And then later on that turned into give me five minutes and then give me a minute and then hey, just let me interact with her. And he's got that confidence in himself. And so do I, and so does Stu. How do we have that confidence in ourselves that we can talk to a woman, we can interact with her, and we know that we're gonna be able to make her feel attracted? The reason why I've been able to make so many beautiful women feel intense attraction for me is because I have focused on attracting women when I interact with them. I know that the most important and powerful ways of attracting women happen when you're actually interacting with them. When a guy doesn't know how to attract women, it can feel like women have it so easy because all they've got to do is look good and they'll get attention. However, when a guy knows how to attract women by the way that he interacts with her, he suddenly realizes that he is the lucky one. He can be overweight, short, have a big nose, etc., and he can still make a beautiful woman feel intense attraction for him. We men are lucky that women can feel intense attraction for us based on how we interact with them. When you know how to attract women when you interact with them, you have your choice with women because most of the women that you meet feel attracted to you. It's really up to you how much or how little attraction you want women to feel for you when you interact with them. You can decide to set off several attraction triggers during a simple conversation with a woman and make her feel a lot of attraction for you. 
In a relationship, you can make your woman feel increasing amounts of attraction for you over time. The spark doesn't have to die between you and her. You can make her feel attracted to you by the way that you interact with her. If the way that you interact with her turns her off and doesn't make her feel more love, respect and attraction for you, then of course the spark is gonna die out. However, if the way that you interact with her, if the way that you communicate with her, if the way that you behave around her makes her feel more love, respect and attraction for you, then the spark isn't gonna die out. The spark doesn't have to die out in a relationship. You can actually make a woman feel more and more attracted to you over time. She can fall more in love, feel more respect, and feel more attraction for you over time to the point where it doesn't make any sense to wanna to break up with you. You are her man. So how did I work all these attraction techniques out? How did I work out how to be successful with women? Well, in the past, I wasn't successful with women. You know, I was the nervous guy, I was too nice, I would talk to women, I'd run out of things to say, I couldn't keep the conversations going and keep them interesting with attractive women. I'd start talking to an attractive woman and she might give me a chance initially because I dressed nice and I was appearing to be decent, but then I'd start talking to her and I didn't even know how to make her feel attracted. I didn't know how to make her feel attracted while I interacted with her. I didn't even know that that was important. I didn't even know that you had to do that. I was sort of hoping to be chosen by her for looking good enough. You know, it was like, okay, I've got this nice shirt on, I've styled my hair nice, can I get a chance with you? But it just wasn't working. And one night I went out to after work drinks and the same thing happened again, right? Talking to women, they weren't interested. And I came home and my sister asked me, so Dan, did you pick up tonight? And she was asking me in a bit of a sarcastic way because she knew that the answer was gonna be no. And I told her no, and she said, oh, don't worry, you know, you just gotta wait for the right girl to come along. Maybe you're meeting the wrong sort of girls. And I said to her, look, you know, I'm talking to women and it just doesn't seem to be going anywhere. It seems to be like boring. There's nothing really to talk about. And she says, oh, look, you know, you're probably just meeting the wrong girls. Just wait and the right girl will come along. And that is the point where everything changed for me. I said, bullshit, I said, no. I said, I've seen other guys who have got beautiful women. They've got a beautiful girlfriend, a beautiful wife. They've got multiple women. Why can't I have a girl? Why aren't women interested in me? Why am I talking to women and it's not going anywhere? What is going on here? What is wrong? What am I missing? And of course, back then, I didn't know what I was missing. I didn't even know that a guy had to actively make a woman feel attracted to him while he interacted with her. You know, I was going through life with the peacock bird mentality right, where you look at the peacock bird, he has to attract a female bird by looking all colorful and pretty. Please choose me, look at my feathers, am I pretty enough for you? And because of what I'd seen in the media and what I'd overheard women say when they're talking about handsome guys and good looking guys, I thought that it was about that. I thought that I had to get chosen for how I looked and then try to impress the girl by talking about my job and talking about what I wanted to do in the future and hopefully I'd be able to get a chance with her. But that was obviously wrong and that approach doesn't get you anywhere. If you've been trying that yourself, you would know that as well, right? So what I did is I made a promise to myself. I said to myself, I'm gonna go out and approach women every weekend until I work this stuff out. Until I work out how to start a conversation with a woman and get her attracted to me, to who I am, to like me for me, to love me for me, to want me for me. I'm gonna make that happen. And luckily around that time, I met a new friend and he was hopeless with women as well. And we made an agreement. We said, let's go out there and approach women every weekend and get this worked out. And initially it was horrible because neither of us knew what we were doing. I would walk up to women, I'd try to start talking to them and they'd be like, give me that sort of reaction as usual. Or I'd start talking to a woman, she'd give me a chance initially. And then her attraction would just come down. I'd run out of things to say, conversation would become boring. I couldn't keep it going and keep it interesting. Bye bye, you know, or she would say, oh, can you leave us alone? Or we're trying to have a girls night or uh, I wanna go to the bathroom, uh, bye. And she would run off. And it was the same thing over and over again. But I persisted, I stuck in there. And eventually I started to work out how to make women feel attracted to me. I started to work out how to make women feel intense attraction for me to who I was, how I was talking to them, how I was using my body language. I worked out how to kiss women within 10 minutes of meeting them, then within five minutes, then almost immediately. I worked out how to take women home for sex. I worked out how to get sex on the first date. I worked out what to say and do around women to have my choice with women. And after enjoying that lifestyle for about a year and a half, I decided to write everything down that I'd learned and put it into what eventually became my book, The Flow. And that is the process that you need to go through when you meet a woman. 
to make her feel attracted to you and want to be with you. So if you wanna learn how to attract women when you meet them, whether it's a woman that you know already and you've got a crush on her or you're going out to bars and clubs or you wanna meet women at university or you're meeting women through friends or whatever, then at least make sure that you read my book, The Flow. I have a lot of programs at The Modern Man and all of them include unique ways of attracting women, unique ways of becoming more confident and becoming a more attractive man overall. However, if you're starting out and you wanna learn how to attract women and have your choice with women, then make sure that you at least read my book, The Flow, and experience what it's like to be able to attract women, right? To make a woman feel more and more attracted to you the more she interacts with you. You can actually have that power and control over your interactions with women. When it comes to relationships, if you wanna learn how to make your woman feel an increasing amount of attraction for you in a relationship, I have two programs for you. Those are the modern relationship, where you learn about how to create and maintain the ideal type of relationship dynamic that always creates more sexual tension between you and your woman. Then I also have my other program, Better Than a Bad Boy. And that is about being the sort of man that a woman not only desperately wants to be with, but wants to stay with. The respect, love, and attraction that she feels for you deepens over time, rather than fading away. It's also about having purpose as a man, being what women refer to as a real man. Women are often saying, where are all the real men, right? And a lot of guys think that bad boys are the most attractive type of guy to women, but really the most attractive, desirable type of man is a real man. That's what women are really looking for. Enjoying that lifestyle, I had many girlfriends who wanted to settle down with me and marry me, but I was never ready for that until I met my current girlfriend a little over two years ago. As you can see, she's a very sexy woman. I picked her up even though I don't have a gym body. I don't have the big muscles, you know, there were tall guys in the club with big muscles and good looks, but I was the guy who interacted with her and made her feel intense attraction. Throughout our relationship, her attraction, love and respect for me has increased over time rather than fading away. And recently her and I got engaged and we're now planning to start a family. I don't wanna talk a lot about myself here, but the reason I'm telling you this is that I want you to know that you can make a beautiful woman feel intense attraction for you by the way that you interact with her. You don't have to look like a perfect male model to make a beautiful woman feel intense attraction for you. What I want you to know is that the most powerful and important ways to attract women happen when you interact with them. It's about what you say and do when you're interacting with her, how your behavior makes her feel, how your conversation style makes her feel. Some women will only accept a super good looking guy with loads of money but most women have an open type and they can feel attracted to all different types of guys as long as the guy makes her feel attracted in other ways. Okay, so let's go back to those questions that I asked you at the start of the video. Do you think that it's possible for you to make a beautiful woman feel intense attraction for you? Or do you feel like you can't make a beautiful woman feel intense attraction for you because you're not good looking enough, you're not super rich with millions or billions of dollars? you don't have an amazing job, you're not tall enough. Do you think that because of those things, you cannot make a beautiful woman feel attraction for you? If you think that you can't make a beautiful woman feel attraction for you, then watch the video again. Attraction works differently than most guys realize, right? When you look up attraction in the dictionary, it doesn't say the feeling that a woman gets in response to a guy's physical appearance. It's about features and qualities that evoke feelings of interest, liking, and desire. A woman can be attracted to a man for many different reasons. It's not just about looks. Yes, there are women who will only ever accept a tall, handsome, perfect male model with millions or billions of dollars. That is true. But the majority of women in this world have what I call an open type, which means that they're open to being with all different types of guys as long as the guy makes her feel enough attraction in other ways. And you may not be able to believe that right now. You might not be ready to accept that. But I promise you one thing. If you don't accept it right now, if you don't understand it right now, you're going to see it all around you in the world from now on. You're going to see guys walking along and the guy does not look like anything special, but he's got a beautiful woman. You're going to see a guy in a social situation who doesn't look like anything special. There's nothing really special about his appearance. He looks like an average or even below average looking guy or he's overweight or he's from a race that you think can't attract women or he's shorter than you and women are gonna be into him like nothing else. They're gonna be feeling intense attraction for him. That is the reality that you live in. 
In terms of relationships, do you think that it's possible to make a woman feel increasing amounts of attraction for you over time? Do you think that it's possible to be one of those couples that you see that are 30, 40 years into a relationship and they're still extremely happy together? They're attracted, they're in love, they still have that spark between them. Do you think that that's possible? Of course it is, right? And if you wanna learn how to make a woman feel intense attraction for you when you meet her, then I recommend that you at least read my book, The Flow, and if you wanna learn even more advanced and mastery level techniques later on, then I've got all of my other programs for you as well. And in terms of relationships, if you wanna be able to make your woman feel a renewed feeling of attraction for you and then deepen that over time, then I recommend that you watch my program, The Modern Relationship. And if you wanna deepen your education and you wanna learn more about being the sort of man that women desperately want to be with, then I recommend that you watch Better Than A Bad Boy. That is about being what women refer to as a real man. When a woman is with a real man, she does not wanna leave him. She feels intense attraction, respect, and love for him, and that grows over time. It doesn't fade away. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you wanna learn more, what you've learned in this video is just a tiny bit of what I can teach you, right? If you've enjoyed what you're learning so far, you are gonna be amazed at what you learn in my programs. Our techniques, our methods, our mindsets have come from all of our successful experience with women and from taking guys out for many years into bars and clubs and shopping malls, showing them how to approach women, from running seminars for many years and from coaching guys on the phone and answering all the comments all over the site for many years. The techniques that we teach here at The Modern Man are exclusive to The Modern Man and no one else can explain what we understand in the way that we understand it. What Ben Stu and I say and do when we're interacting with women is why we've been able to make so many women feel intense attraction for us for so many years. When you know how to make women feel intense attraction for you when you're interacting with them, it's just so easy. We've spent a long time creating all of our programs to put all of the advice, the techniques, the insights, the mindsets, and the lessons into simple structured formats that you can learn and start using in your life right now. You don't have to waste years of your life and put in loads of hard work to try to work all this stuff out. You can learn what we've worked out over many years in a matter of hours, right? For you, it's all available in a program. All you need to do is download it, upload it into your brain, start using the techniques, and you'll start having the sort of success with women that we've been experiencing all this time. And by that, I'm talking about when you interact with a woman for the first time, you're able to make her feel intense attraction for you. And when you're in a relationship, you're able to deepen her attraction over time to the point where she doesn't want to leave you. You can have that power and control over your ability to attract women, right? Your ability to attract women determines the quality of woman that you can have access to and the desire that she's going to have to stay with you in a relationship. You can make a beautiful woman feel intense attraction for you and you can make her feel more and more attracted to you over time. You really can do it. And I hope that if you do want to learn how to do it, you get started. You don't go and waste more of your life thinking that you can't do it. Oh, I'm not good looking enough. Oh, I'm not good enough. Yes, you are. You can make a beautiful woman feel intense attraction to you while she's talking to you, right? You can really do it. And in a relationship, you can make a woman feel more and more attraction for you over time. You can do it. 